What is the worst movie you've ever seen? No, I'm not talking about Transformers 2 or Grown Ups 2, I mean a movie so bad, so fundamentally broken, that it leaves a pit in your stomach or makes you feel frustrated and angry beyond any reasonable measure. This is a question I've been asking myself for a while, and I think it's about time to do something about it. So I've pulled up the list of the bottom 100 lowest rated movies on IMDb, and I'm going through them one by one to find the worst movie ever. Welcome to the search for the worst. The Oogie Loves and the Big Balloon Adventure is the worst thing in the history of anything ever. And I really mean it this time. Usually when I make these videos I jot down notes so I have some reference points for when I come to writing and editing. Typically I write about three pages. But look at the notes I did for this movie. Yeah. Where am I supposed to start? What am I even supposed to say? Well, weirdly enough, this movie actually has a disturbing amount in common with Food Fight. It even shares some of the same cast. Much in the same way like Food Fight was left in purgatory, The Oogie Loves was actually finished way back in 2009, but the producer wanted to patent the way this film tries to interact with the audience, by showing butterflies to encourage you to stand up and dance, but then to show some turtles to tell you when to stop dancing and sit the fuck down. More interesting though is that this movie set a new box office record for the lowest opening gross for a film playing at over 2,000 theatres. You can probably guess by now that I hate this movie so much I think I might pass out. No, really, I think this was the most painful one of these so far. It was a sensory bombardment of a obnoxious colours, sound effects, horrible acting, horrible voices, cringeworthy CG and green screen, and awful celebrity cameos. Not to mention it's filled with communist propaganda, blatant sexism, and offensive references to 9-11. Okay, that's a lie, but you have to admit you got a little bit excited there. Just the idea that I'd have something interesting to talk about with this movie. Well, guess what? I don't. So I guess this is the part where I go through what happens in the movie. I mean, I'll try, but this movie is aimed for an audience so young that nothing tangible really happens that I can describe. So the basic plot, Jesus Christ, that word really doesn't even apply to this movie. Nothing applies to this movie. It's hardly even a movie. But the Oogie Loves are trying to get back these five balloons for their really creepy pillow friend. <coughs> because this fucking stupid moron manages to let go of them. So the entire film is basically the Oogie Loves going to a place, a random celebrity showing up, they sing a couple of really awful, and I mean really awful, repetitive songs. Then they get one of the balloons, then repeat five times until it's over. It's never as much fun as climbing up. Just hold on to my string. I'll help you down. This movie tries so hard to be harmless and inoffensive that it actually starts to become highly offensive and insulting. Well, that might be because I'm watching a movie intended for two-month-old babies. After finishing this movie, I just went and stood outside and gazed into the sky. We live in a vast planet with so much to offer, so much colour, intrigue, mystery and amazement. And I just sat there for an hour and a half watching the fucking Oogie Loves. The saddest part was when Chaz Palmenteri appeared in the film and kept going, Oh! Oh! I like to think that the reason he keeps doing this is because every time he goes oh. is because it's his body recoiling in pain because it just hit him that he's a character in the Oogie Loves. And it's his subconscious slowly trying to fight his way out of it, but the allure of a fat Oogie paycheck is just too much for him to withstand. I mean really though, you can criticise these actors for being in the Oogie Loves all you want, but if you're offered $50,000 to be in the Oogie Loves too, you'll be the first person to say, where's the nearest Oogie suit, let's film this bitch. There was this one really weird part where, one, two, one, two, three, windy window, what do you see? One. One, two, one, two, three, windy window, please show me. Okay, wow. I'm, I'm sorry about that. I, I have no idea why I did that. There's something weird going on with this movie. I think the Oogie Loves are trying to Goofy Toofy pick up your pants. No, please, movie, stop. I can't withstand the lure of the Oogie Loves. What has this movie done to me? Somebody please help. Testing, testing, wham, bam, pow. Gooby love, can you hear me now? Testing, testing, wham, bam, pow. Gooby love, can you hear me now? Testing, testing, wham, bam, pow. Gooby love, can you hear me now? Testing, testing, wham, bam, pow. Gooby love, can you hear me now? Oh, okay, okay, I'm back. So, so what was I saying again? Oh yeah. 
The Oogie he loves is the greatest thing to exist in the history of anything ever. And I totally wasn't brainwashed into saying this because the movie has subliminal messages that make me want to endorse this movie then buy 412 copies of it on DVD. The nuanced story, the complex characters and hilarious comedy that the whole family can enjoy are just a few of the things you can expect to enjoy when you pick up Oogie Loves on DVD today. Oh, my favorite. I Hate Everything gives this movie a 40 billion out of 10. It's the greatest movie of all time. Watch out the Shawshank Redemption. I think that Oogie Loves is on its way to a higher IMDb score than you. No, really, look, it's already at a 7.3. 87.9% of people gave it a 10, and I'm one of those people because this movie's a masterpiece. So let's have a look at where the Oogie Love stands on the search for the Oogie Love. Well, it's not quite as good as Oogie Love, but there are a couple of things that make it slightly better than Oogie Love, but Oogie Love was so bad that Oogie Love was defined that Oogie Love in comparison to Oogie Love. Oogie Love, uh, Oogie Love, Oogie Love, Oogie Love. No, but really, this is the worst movie so far on the search for the worst. Fuck this movie. So what's up next in the search for the worst? Hopefully it won't be Birdemic. Oh, this Birdemic. So there it is, folks. The fucking Oogie Loves. I really had no idea what to say about this movie because nothing happens. I had to edit out all the times I cried while recording the audio for this. It took about 43 hours. But anyway, what do you think? Do you like or dislike the video? Did I not spend enough time analyzing the intricacies of the Oogie Loves? Tell me in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. All comments and ratings are appreciated. I'll see you next time. Bye.